I don't remember the exact day you arrived at Hogwarts, but I remember how it all started. People whispered around about the new fifth year, the very first person who came here midterm. Wanting it or not, you became popular, and I couldn't care less. Somehow you ended up discovering the very place I kept to myself, and for my own kind. The only place where I could be free of the other's judgement. Even though they were right in their words. With Anne's sickness, Sebastian started spending less time on school grounds. Entertaining himself with the search for a cure. A cure he'll never find, and he took you with him on his adventures. I could have found an excuse to take you out of the picture. But eventually, I understood it was convenient since he'll never emphasize my actions anyway. I had time and solitude to work on what I wanted. Everything was perfect, an unbeatable facade of who I really was. No one would have suspected the blind student, the astray gaunt who escaped from the cruelty of his family. And then, you came again in my way, roaming around the corridors at late night hours. Getting into places you didn't have to be. I followed you around, but you seemed not aware of the fact. Because I know you would have cared, but you didn't. I heard your footsteps at night, leading to areas where it wasn't allowed to be. And finally became aware of your secret. You kept the ancient magic for yourself, and I kept my task as the heir of Slytherin. You had your room of requirement, and I had my undercroft. But it wasn't fair to be aware of it, knowing you would never reveal it to me. And I felt jealous for the first time. That very night I did what I was destinated to do. I set the hidden beast from the chamber free. It wouldn't hurt me, it never did, because how? I'm blind, and I can speak its tongue. My family planned this for years, hoping to one day witness how the Chosen Gaunt will complete the task we were supposed to do. With you keeping the professors busy with the ancient magic and Sebastian's mistakes, no one turned an eye to it. You didn't turn an eye on me either. And I can't just stop thinking about your time together how you did tell him what you didn't say to me. The things I wished to hear, and the time I wished you spent with me instead. Now I fear for you, for your safety after what I've done. I hope we can start again, because I'm afraid I've fallen in love.